My name is Brandy Harris, and this is Why I Fly. I currently fly a Cherokee Piper Archer, and it is living my wildest dreams. So I've been working in aviation for four years, and I've been flying for two. Currently, I'm a flight attendant for a major airline, and it was my dream job until I discovered getting into the flight deck. So I'm going from flight attendant to flight deck, or cookies to cockpit, or serving snacks to making snacks. I can go on for days. <laughs> yeah. I'm from a very small town called Notasoga, Alabama, which is right here in Macon County, the heart of our Tuskegee Airmen. And so growing up, I always knew that aviation existed. I just didn't know in what capacity I would fit into it. Because of the lack of representation, you don't see a lot of African-American females within this field. So I decided to become a flight attendant so that I could get my feet wet and kind of learn more, ask questions. And upon that, I discovered this whole other world. And I've been hooked ever since. I became a part of the Red Tail Scholarship Foundation about two years ago and it honestly has changed my entire life. To be able to take off and land on the exact same runways that the Tuskegee Airmen who fought for us and paved the way is so exciting and exhilarating. Like, I honestly can't even put it into words. We hold ourselves to a certain bar because we wanna make sure that we're putting out the best, the best of the best. There are only 2% of African-American pilots, professional pilots, that look like me, specifically. So to make sure that I'm the best every time that I go out and I put my feet on those rudders is super important. And this foundation makes sure that I'm giving my best every time. I come from a background of many, many strong, independent women. And all of them have guided my footsteps on this journey. I'm actually not in it alone. I, as well as two cousins, Jasmine and Melanie, I love you guys, are also working towards becoming professional pilots as well. So it's a family endeavor to be able to call and say, girl, I botched that landing today. And then for them to say, oh, the winds were heavy and to give me the reassurance that it wasn't me. It's so important to feel like you belong and to feel like you have the love and the support of people that you love and support. You almost have this imposter syndrome where you don't think that you're quite a pilot yet. I don't have my multi-engine, so does that make me a true pilot? I am a pilot. I can show you the license. And I think that it's important for people to know no matter where you start, even as a student pilot, you just want to make sure that that beginning is not going to be your end story. Know your resources. Do the research. In a um, check ride, the first question that you're asked is what makes a plane fly? And the answer is money. So there's the answer for all of you out there working on your private pilot license. Look into scholarships because they exist as well. I think it's important for us to realize that even though the community is small, there is a community that exists. We are here, the community is here, and we want to support. There are so many different avenues for us to find out more information and be excited about it. So I want to be that for someone else. I want to be those answers. I think a lot of times people think it's so important to be the first to do something, but my mindset is to make sure that I'm not the last to do it. I've got to show people the same thing that the people that came before me showed me, and that is just this incredible world of aviation.